not a read, a swag. Swag. I don't yes. remember that. I am joined by Caitlin from the Sylvie. We are going to be building this gorgeous wreath. Now, we've added our cedars. Yes, that's and we've right. a couple last pieces yeah. to add. I like to add, this is a juniper bush, so I like to add a little bit of that. Just this from some great variation. Longevity. Yeah. I love it. Give some uh, depth, too. Depth. That's right. And you can so, add another one if you okay. wish. Thank you. Okay. How do you wish? Beautiful. So what we're going to do next is we're just going to take our wire and we're going to secure it all together. So it's really easy peasy to a nice long piece. So this is just kind of like tackle wire. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. Yeah, you can get this from any craft store. We're going to flip it around and you're literally going to just twist tie it around. It's nice. so easy. Sorry. She does it so like, like it's just so easy. I feel like I'd be like, we got to put rough on it, right? <laughs> oh, it's not gonna, yeah, it's not going to get hurt. So. All right, so then we'll flip that back over. You okay. have a hook. Now, Caitlin has worked on the bow while we're in, right? Because it can be a little tricky, yeah, however. Tricky. Look how beautiful it turns out. Ta da! And this is what you get. All right, so that's going to go right on the top. And now, see these little bits there? Yeah. We're going to cinch them all up. Okay. Yeah. Because they are flat, pretty well. So, yeah. That's what mine would look like if I found it on Pinterest and tried to do it at home. We're going to get those little details that you forget about. Yeah, now it comes to decorating. So it's up to you however you want to okay. decorate. So we've got some gorgeous dried oranges. Yes. I have seen dried oranges look so pretty. Uh, yeah. What did you do to these to make them look so amazing? It's a dehydration machine oh. and preservatives. So. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. So how do we get them to stay on? We are going to hot glue them. Oh, good thinking. Today. That's so okay. Just but at least we know, right? And then we so we kind of layered them. Is that a good idea? I layered them. It's all up to you. How they want to style. And center mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. That's Christmas. See, right this there. smells so good. You're not going to want it outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess it doesn't have to be outside. Yeah. Well, I was thinking yeah. front door for some reason, but I mean, it could go anywhere. It could come in the house. If you're going to have it in the house, you just got to, like any Christmas oh, tree, yes. it's going to drop. So, um, spraying with water, this yeah, water bottle will help keep it. Uh, Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So, I don't want to be too boring, but how do you really like I like crossing it around. Yeah, cross. You know what? Sometimes less is more. Yeah, I just so, love the bow. Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit of accents, and you can add some cranberries in there and follow oh. them each on. Or in your mouth. Yeah. I love <laughs> but look at my beautiful swag. Beautiful. I love it. Nice. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So if you want to learn how to make your own swag, get in touch with Caitlin. That's right. She's going to be teaching you. We've got lots of events. A couple of events coming up. We have the Sugar Bush Christmas Market, which I put, oh, hold on, I got my black on. Sugar Bush Christmas Market, that sounds yes. amazing. It's going to be at the Sugar Bush. It's in the Sugar Bush, which is just off Horseshoe Valley Road. Okay. It's my second annual, so it's still be my company's put this together. Very nice. Uh, last year we had 15 vendors. It was, you know, very small, but cozy and comfortable. This year we have like, almost 40. Um, wow. We have alpaca it's farm. really growing. Yeah, we have a falconry center coming. We have carolers, violinists. We have Santa Claus. Sounds like it's going to be incredible. Myself with wreaths and, and even a fire to cozy up with some ah, hot chocolate and hot chocolate and mulled apple cider. So. And of course, some of these yeah. pieces will be around That's for people right. to see. Yeah. Possible yeah. purchase. Uh, amongst yeah. other things, get your Christmas shopping started a little bit early. We've given you lots and lots of people to check out to do that. Uh, so make sure you do. And then... Uh, about the event, tell me one more time yes. about making the swag and the wreaths because I'm dying yes. to do that and I think I hope other people are too. Tell us again. All those details can be found online on my Facebook page. So okay. you can also find me at www.stlboutique.com and all details are on there. Um, just you know, send me an email, give me a call, and Great. set up a date to have a ladies' night. Absolutely, <laughs> I love that idea. I really do. It's, it beats Secret Santa, doesn't it? I mean, having the girls over, making your own swag, or whether it be a wreath, yeah. um, which probably is a little more work, but still looks gorgeous. It's a fun night together. It is. I yeah. love, too, that you've built. Thank is you. this yeah. a garland would it be considered? That's a garland, yeah. Okay, so, so can, for the mantle. Yeah, for the mantle, wrap around your mailbox, in front of your door. And again, this is just, if it's indoors, you spray yeah. with water. That's right, yeah. Such and that's all constructed. I did that all by hand. So. Unbelievable. Yeah. It's so Thank creative. You. This is, we need the, we need the Cubans of the world. <laughs> Make our houses look Martha Stewart-y without having to go through the work, because it is a lot of work. Now, you you get these greens from, is it Hewitt's? Uh, no, nope. these greens are all just local just growers, local growers. Yeah. Okay. and uh, Hewitt's does provide me with some things. I've got magnolia from mm -hmm. them, uh, you can get hollies, they have all sorts of variations Amazing there, things. and uh, lots of good events. Which yeah. Caitlin, thank, thank you so you. much for being here to talk with us thank about this all, much. and thank you for helping me make my first <laughs> It is gorgeous, I love it.